All right, guys, here we go. Grand final set number one out of possibly two sets. It's not going to transition because I am doing something wrong, and now I have fixed it. Grand final spike TE in the winner's side. Dub coming out of loser's side, bodying me. Not really bodied, but we know what happened. Anyways, here we go. Dub starting off a uh, couple percent here from uh, Fox's lasers. As we saw in winner's finals, uh, Mike TE going in with this pocket Fox. We know his main is the villager, but uh, the seems this counter pick is working out really well for him. Both of them trying to space out the neutral, trying to throw off some hitboxes, maybe get a catch here and there. But both of them just waiting for the opportunities to catch. And with Dove, with the shield kind of from the down airs, is going to um, get Mike in a really weird position. But Mike safely getting back on stage, and now we are back in this neutral game. We're playing a pretty safe, both of it a very bait and punish game. Uh, Dove landing that uh, dash attack, now it lands a down air almost to a forward air. That would have been some meaty percent. Got a forward air from Dove. Getting Mike off stage, but now Mike with the run up, almost to the grab. But we've got Mike, interesting uh, down B actually. Uh, going with the turn up, turn up, and actually trying to do it again, but uh, just quite a, just a little bit out of position. Now, Mike's gotta find his way in, gotta find that momentum to get Dove to the kill percent because he's gotta be playing really carefully. Mike side being cool, get to reset the neutral, but Dove quickly with that forward air slap. Again, getting Dove, or sorry, Mike, rather, onto his second stock. Now Mike needs to find his way, find his way in. Tries to go to, to a near offstage game, but uh, Dove going right past it. These two down airs, Dove is really good at just pressing with the down airs, especially on me, but that's besides the point. I'm just saying we have seen it a lot tonight. It is my point. <laughs> um, but he is placing them really well, placing them very safely, um, and getting some shield pressure as well. Now we have Mike. Throughout that whole explanation, now at 102. All tries to go for that up smash free, not able to quite get it though. Got a backer coming out from Mike, and this could be a very interesting uh, situation for Dub because Mike does have Fox Rage, and this could lead into some interesting kills. Dub with a fo uh, footstool, but not able to quite land anything after that. Got a forward throw from Dub. This could be Mike's uh, stock for this game. Got a dash attack, tries to go for an up air, not quite able to land it. And got Dove at the 69%. Let's see if this is able to help him. Not really. He's not 75, but still, that will not stop him from possibly winning this game. Although, we know Mike can run this back. Now with Dove off stage, tries to land a back air. Dove a little too high for him. And there we go, we got the back air in, but just not enough to kill. Maybe a little more rage, maybe a little bit more percent. Let's see what this go where this goes. Very interesting situation here. Dub again landing these very crucial down airs, getting these percents, getting where he needs to be. Unfortunately, though, Mike catches him with the up smash. And now they're both on the second stock, but Mike has to utilize this rage and play it very safely in order to uh, be able to take this game. It's going to be very hard. It's going to be a long road, but it is very doable. We know Smash 5, Smash 5, Smash 4 can be very janky. Tries to go for that up smash read. Not able to quite land it. Forward throw from Dub. Not able to quite kill as well. We got an up beat from Mike. Tries to Dub tries to land with the down air. Edge guard. Not able to quite get it. Another down air coming from Dub. These are just lethal. He is out for blood just with this one simple move. Gets so much percent. Gets so much shield pressure and is mostly safe. Very good move for Peach and he is abusing the heck out of that. Now we got Dub. Sorry, Mike at max rage now. Gets a dash attack and tries to land a forward air but Dub air dodging right through it. And now Mike's gonna play it very safe. Gonna go with these, go with these lasers. Get a few percent here and there. Maybe set up a combo. Maybe set up a momentum swing here. We got a forward smash coming out. To a dash attack, stuffing out the forward air. Goes for the upbeat. Oh my god. Nope, not quite yet. But Dub at 80%. That was a really cool read from Mike that we saw. Not able to really take the stock though. Dub with the counter coming out, not able to quite get the read he wanted. A back throw from it though, will take it. These are some interesting run back sets we have been seeing all day today. Through my set and Dub set, through Fantastic and MCJ. It has been absolutely nutty today. It is also late. And I did not realize. Looks like we're gonna run it back to Smashville. Nope, Battlefield. My apologies if I'm not looking, but let's see how Mike is able to uh, take advantage of this stage. Looks like he loves the platforms, loves the platforms to work with, but with Dub being, peach, being a Peach main, it can be very advantageous for him as well. So we'll just see where this goes. Dove, sorry, Mike landing with that up air. I keep confusing the two for some reason. It has been a long day.
forward air to up smash read. Not able to quite get that read for the up smash, but very interesting mix-up that we're seeing from Mike. Maybe going for it a little too much, maybe a little too readable from Dub. Let's see how it goes out, though, as we continue throughout this set. Dub, letting these back airs. Instead of, his, <laughs> instead of the down airs, we have the back airs in this game. And again, getting some really good percent. Got a forwarder coming out from Mike. Tries to go for the up air to follow up, but not able to quite land it. Up tilt from Dub, leading Mike off stage. Now is able, able to safely get back on, and we are back in the neutral. Here we go, both with the short hops, Dub with the turn ups. Just trying to get, play that bait and punish game. That turn up all the way from downtown to forward air. Gonna get Mike up to 75%, but now we have Mike in the advantage right now with Dub being off stage. Goes for the down air now at 93, goes for the up air, and that's gonna kill. Now we got Dove trying to play a lot more aggressive. He has the percent to play aggressive as well. And with Mike, very much at a kill percent, goes for that down air, able to get the stage back as well. And now we are back to square one for the second stock. Goes for the multi-jab. Dove stuffing it out with his forward air. Goes for the grab combo. Tries, actually gets the down smash. And we got some up tilt from Mike. The piece being very light, it's not going to last too long as we only saw it. Only lasted two hits compared to, if you were to find another fox, it probably landed a good four or five. We got these up air strings coming out from Mike now. Now Dove, 83%, he's got to play a, very, a little more safety here. Tries to go for another up air, actually. Very interesting to continue that string. Mike just trying to get these short hop fastballs aerials, whether that be a back air or an up air. And is trying to play a very safe neutral. Side B's into the ledge, so he's able to get back safely. And now, here we go, Dove again. Pressuring with this down air, being very safe with where, he plays, where his placement is as well. A forward air, wow! That slap actually going to take Mike into game number three and has to run it all the way back if he doesn't want to go for a grand final set two. Very interesting stuff as we're seeing Dove just in the neutral, always playing a safe. Both of, both of these players actually playing at a very safe neutral, playing a very patient, waiting for the time to strike. And it just... So what happens that Dove is finding a little, some more opportunities than Mike. And it looks like we're going to go to Final Destination. The platforms weren't really working for Mike, so he decided, you know what? No platforms. I want a cool space stage. I'm a space fox, and you will treat me as such. Now, Dove, uh, much like uh, the last previous game, starting off with percent on him. However, that has not been able to hinder him as much. As we're seeing both, again, like I've been saying, both of them just trying to play this aerial game, trying to play it, you know, Either baits, either getting a hit off of there, Dub playing very patiently, getting a forward off of there, trying to land these down air strings again. Like we've been seeing all day, no one's been able to get past that. Uh, Mike, going for these interesting down Bs, trying to mix up Dub's uh, approach options and maybe get a punish of his own, but Dub able to go right past it and get a punish. Or rather, just get a hit. Now with Mike off stage, able to, oh my god, he almost got a jab lock with an air, that would've been hype. Now, got them both even, both brown mid percent, but Mike seems to be in a disadvantage here. Gets hit by the down air and is still off stage. Gets the side B. Mike up being, trying to go to the ledge, but Dove right there with the forward smash, taking the stock. And now, Mike's got to play this very safe. He doesn't want to go into a reset right now. He wants to end this clean. Or maybe, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, guys. And there to a dash attack. Now to up air, getting Dove up to 84%. We got. Mike spacing these really well. Goes for up smash read, but Dove, the peach crouch animation just so low that Mike was not able to capitalize. Abusing this character's uh, features, I would say. Backwards uh, spot up the down tilt from uh, Fox is gonna get Dove to the other side of the stage, but now we're back in the neutral. Now Dove off stage. It's gonna be very interesting how Mike sets this up. Tries to go for an air. Maybe he was expecting an up air, but either way, just go for a forward smash. Mike wants to end the stock once and for all so he can get a fresh stock to work with. However, Dove is not having it all and recovers high so he's able to get back. Dove with the ledge trump um, but gets back on stage, recovers high and then we got the up smash going into grand final set number two. Now that the brackets reset it, all the stages are, you know, still illegal, and we go back to the strike or we're going back to the smash build, gentlemen. So what we will see. I have now updated a name so that I can see all the screen files. You guys are good. Looks like we're gonna go into a striking stage here. 
Uh, rock, paper, scissors, Mike with that. Game one, maybe going for a rock, paper, scissors tournament here soon at Saluki Smashville. Side tournament, maybe, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Don't know if it'll be streamed, though. We got some strikes here. Are we just going to go to Smashville anyway? We named it Saluki Smashville for a reason, ladies and gentlemen. Grand final set number two. We're starting right off game number one. Uh, looks like we're going to keep the characters Fox Peach. The mic's... Gotta figure out what he did game one. Dog just being relentless right now, almost taking a stock within the first 10 seconds. But, like I was saying, Mike kind of needs to figure out his composure, figure out when to get into the advantage state a lot more often than he has been. Because he has been landing his hits, he has been landing these strings, and he has been taking stocks. It's just that Dove has been finding these uh, situations a lot better than Mike has. And as we're seeing game one, Mike has been finding no advantage situations right now. But as I was, but like I was saying, here we go. We got the momentum. But a shield from Dove is gonna just stuff that right out. Down there from Dove again. Just what an abusive move to use. Gets the stage back as well, like we've seen before. But goes for the SD instead. Was it worth it? We will see as we continue this game number one of Grand Final Set Two. Both of them just chilling out, you know, getting their mindset back in order. Ooh, was Mike looking for that forward air footstool? Could have been. Was looking for a setup there at the very least. We got Dove now at 31%. Here we, here we go. Like I was just saying, Mike needs to find these advantageous stages where he can take where he can give percent and a lot of it. Just Dove being a light character as a Peach main, you know, being able to shield when Mike at the very moment he needs to, and just stuffing out Mike's attempts to build a percent. But now, very interesting situation. We got a back air coming out from Dove and with no tech. It's going to be Dove game number one. And Dove just on this streak right now. He is up four games. Let's see. Is Mike going to see if the Fox is going to keep his composure? See if he can make what happened in round one work. In round one. work. What happened in winner's finals work here. Both of them were best of five sets, including this one. So... Let's just see what Mike's able to do. Maybe Dove is just adjusting already, and Mike's able to adjust to his own and just see how he's able to mix Dove up. Maybe see how he's able to get these per this percent. So now we got Dove going into the air, possibly going for a turn up. Not quite yet. As we see, Mike uh, trying to play a similar neutral to Dove, where he's just throwing out, we're throwing out aerials, possibly trying to get a catch. But unlike Dove, we got it. We got we got one out, guys. We got one out. We got one out. We gotta wait for the shield. Looks like Mike is trying to catch this with a jab. Gets a uh, down air to grab it though. This could be very good. I forgot. I think it's Mr. Saturn, but Mr. Saturn's now gone. How about getting the name right? Anyways, to continue my thoughts. We've been seeing Mike getting a little aggressive here. Uh, it's very good for Fox at some situations, but in the situations that he has been in, it has not been working out for him. So we'll see what he does in this neutral. Goes for the down air, getting Dove off stage. Forward air landing before Dove's forward air, actually. Trying to space out these down tilts, gets a jab. Tries to land for a down smash. Uh, try, trying to read an immediate jump to get to the ledge safely. But Dove playing a very patient game. Off stage, rather. Got a side beat, not quite getting to the ledge. Got a down air coming from Dove. And now both of them still on the stage. Dove just does not want M Mike to be on the stage, though. Now we got the reverse position, now we're back into the neutral. We got Dove with the float, Tomahawk grab. Tries to land the turn up, but not able to quite get it with uh, Fox's interesting uh, hurt boxes when he side bees. But we got Fox Rage, so let's see if... Commentator's Curse. Dove now at 66%, and we got Mike uh, on his second stock. See if he's able to compose himself, gets the turn up in hand. Uh, down there, going straight through that. Interesting at down B to... Uh, I believe that's down B. Yeah, down B. Um, to throw off dub and it didn't end up working. We got an up air now. He's able to go anywhere from this. Sorry about that, just making a quick announcement. Now we got Mike. Trying to bait out an up smash, trying to bait out a back air, trying to bait out an up air. Try he has a lot of tools to kill and take this stock right now. He's just waiting for his opportunity, being very patient, spacing out with these lasers, trying to get some extra percent just in case. Tries to land in there, not able to quite land it, gets an up smash. Very interesting uh, direction. Personally, I've not seen that. I would not be surprised if that's like uh, an uncommon thing. 
But personally, I've never seen that, and that's what we call a Smash 4 jank, ladies and gentlemen. You know, Fox is honest, of course. Uh, anyways, now we got Mike, you know, sorry, we got Dove on a fresh stock. And going right in, playing a little bit more aggressive since he does have the percent to work with, gets um, stuffed out from the downbeat, tries to land a forward air, uh, Mike tries to land a forward air, I will quite land it. Now we got Dove back off stage, and now Mike, when his edge guard opportunities, he just tries to base something what Dove can do. A footstool of down air gets Mike in a very interesting position. Now he's off stage, tries, uh, recovers high, but able to land back off stage safely. Now we're back in the neutral. Dove again with these downers, just being absolutely ruthless with these. I am accidentally moving the table, so I'm going to stop doing that right now. Got a back air booty bump from the Peach. Got a recover high. I'm able to make this back, but Dove already right there with a forward air. And now Dove on a five-game streak run right now. Mike needs to figure out what he needs to do in order to clutch this out. He was able to do it when his finals. He needs to figure out, okay, what did I do there? Are we seeing, we're seeing a tag change here. It's somewhere down there. And we're going to go to the main. His absolute last resort. The Fox was working for a winner's finals, but Dove has now adapted, and now he needs to mix things up with going his main, playing a different play style, and seeing if that was able to work for him. Now we got the strikes going on. Let's see if we're able to go to a interesting stage. And that interesting stage today is going to be Saluki Town and City. Three, two, Doesn't quite well off the tongue world, does it? Anyways, here we go. Game number three of Saluki Smash Bros. Grand Final set number two. Uh, Mike starting off with the tree, going with this interesting combo. This is the combos we were needing when he was going the Fox, but now going his main, a lot more famili familiarity. I'm gonna try and speak slower to pronounce some big words. Um, he's able to land these combos again. Shield pressure from Dove, and Mike playing it very patient, the playing, playing it very calm, able to find out the perfect timing from the punish with a back air, and he totally did. But now, Dove, again, spacing out like he does the past a few games because they have been working and they are still working right now. Got an upstairs coming out from Mike. Uh, Dove did, did not want that positioning. Tries to go for the tree kill. Not able to quite land it. Dove, a little bit ahead of it. Goes for a uh, get up attack. Able to land it. Tries to go for an interesting axe mix up. That totally would have killed as well with Dove being at 106 and being a light character. But now, Mike's trying to space out things. Turn ups gets Dove, or yeah, Dove off stage. And now, Dove trying to go for the up smash. That might have killed with Peach Rage. Tries to go for a grab. Both of them trying to go for a grab, actually, but Dove's coming out faster. We got a peanut, peanut, turn up. Both of them with the turn up plays right now. Dove with the projectile turn up, and Mike with the up air and down airs. Able to kind of throw Peach off. And we got, oh, what great mix up from Mike there with the axe. Able to take the stock, but now with 99% and him being light as well, he's not a fastballer anymore, and he doesn't have that medium weight that Fox does. So he's got to pay attention of, okay, I'm going to start, you know, I'm going to die earlier now. He's in that mindset. But with a forward air coming from Dove, no rage is actually not going to be able to take the stock. And now Mike not uh, hasn't landed on the ledge just yet, so he wasn't able to get a um, re-grab, or Dove wasn't able to get a re-grab punish, rather. Dove looking for the up smash, but the Nair's just stuffing him out. Mike now close to Max Rage. And Dove, ooh, very interesting situation. Dove was looking for an Esgard there, but uh, Mike playing a very patient, very safe game. Anyways, we got an up smash coming up from Dove. That'll actually take the stock. And now, here we go. This is going to be tournament stock for Mike. He needs to take he needs to take Dove's last stock here in order to stay alive. He wants to win this game. He wants to take this set. He's had enough of Dove's Peach, and with him switching to the main, uh, could be a, a very interesting way on how this plays out. We got a grab combo coming out from Dove, down the throw to back air. Now uh, both playing the aerial game, and Builder has a really good aerial game. Lady that force smash actually getting Dove up to 55%. We got the oh the tree maybe not quite yet. There it is, but Dove. Uh, downering right through it. Try to go for an upset tree. Not able to quite read it because uh, Mike up there with the jump to save it. Uses his driveway to delay his uh, approach. Got a forward air coming out for Dove. Both in mid percent. This is going to be very interesting. This is going to be tournament stock for Mike. He needs to keep his composure. needs to keep it safe. He needs to play it safe. Now at 88%. This is going to be very bad for Mike right now. This could be Slewy Special. Number 12 with a down air stage spike. We got the upbeat from Villager. Much needed uh, to change from uh, Fox, because he would not be able to make that if that was Fox. 
One more of that though, and double take the tournament. A forward air tries. To, ooh, just nasty play from Dub, and that will be something special. Number twelve. We need to head off, guys. It is already way past our time. And I will see you guys later. Congratulations up for winning Sleepy Special number 12. Very great effort from all players here today. We got some new player here as MCJ. And I hope to see you all next week. Thank you guys for tuning in. And we got the hugs. We got the sportsmanship here.